build on failure. You use it as a stepping stone. Um, you don't close the door on, on the past. You don't try to forget the mistakes, but you don't dwell on it. You don't let it have any of your energy or any of your time or any of your space. You know, you analyze it as you're moving forward and uh, never fall in the same trap twice, which uh, I can't say that I haven't been guilty of doing. But my advice is don't. If they're going to break your leg once when you go in that place, stay out of there. <laughs> sawing here what we're going to be doing today we'll finish up this maple here started this the other day and this is some nice maple it's got some ambrosia and a little bit of spalting in it with some nice colors and uh, it's about a seven foot long piece of timber here and it's about four inches thick but what I want to do here is get rid of the pith and that's this crack right here in the middle we've talked about that a lot on this channel getting rid of the pith because the pith is no good it's junk it's just gonna be cracked wood it's always going to move on you a little bit and it's always going to have cracking. It's a good idea to get rid of it if you can't. It will pick up or not, but right here on the end, you can see this crack that developed. And the pith is right here on the end right there. That's the very center of the tree. And the crack pretty much runs the whole entire length of this piece of timber. Because the pith is in the exact location on both ends. And this is four inches thick and I want to do here is try to get a mantle out of this. So I'm going to take off about a half inch of it, and that's going to get rid of the pith and leave us with a three and a half inch uh, thick piece of timber here for a nice mantle when it dries in a few years. As you guys can see here on the other end, that crack runs the whole entire length. And you can always put some bow ties in here to stabilize it, but I like to get rid of it if I can just because it makes for a nicer piece of timber whenever you're working with it later on after it dries. As you can see here on the end, we still have a little bit of cracking here going out in every direction here, but the pith is gone and that's the most important thing. And that crack that runs up the center, as soon as we pull off this slab, it should be out of there. Well, we accomplished two things here by doing this. We got rid of that pith, so it's out of the question. And by doing that, I exposed a lot more spalting here that I didn't see before. It was really nice. Really nice color here in this maple. I thought I hit a nail. It sure sounded like it. I don't know if it picked up on the audio or not. Right here near the clamp, it sounded like I hit some metal, but I didn't. I think I just need to change the blade on there. I've had that blade on for a few days now. It's probably ready to come off. As you guys can see here down the middle, that crack is gone. So that's what you do, you get rid of that pith and your major cracks are over with here unless you have some terrible end checking going on. The water doesn't do nowhere near as good on maple than it does walnut and showing the colors, but it still does all right, I guess. Give you guys an idea of what it looks like. A lot of spalting here on the end I didn't see before as well. Hanging out through here, as you can see some real nice spalting there. And I say spalting, that's those black marks and a lot of the colors you're seeing here that you wouldn't normally see in maple unless you let it set for a while. A lot of ambrosia going on here, some really nice stuff. Well, shout out to my buddy Tito down in Knoxville. He would love to get a hold of a maple slab like this. He bought some from me a while back. The final dimensions here on this maple is 12 quarter, which is three inches thick. It is about 13 inches wide at the widest point. Average is about 12. And it's seven foot in length. A really nice maple slab here. Be a nice bench or a mantle here in a few years. Really nice piece.
by the wilder waters, son. You and me.